going to make a very fun and very delicious dessert today. This is a pistachio and white chocolate mousse cake. I say cake because it's really not a cake, it's just shaped like a cake. It's all going to be made in this eight inch spring form pan. So you need an eight inch spring form pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the bottom and a bit of the sides lightly and layer the bottom in parchment. And then we're gonna put that aside. So what we're going to do first is make the base and that's a brownie base. So in my bowl here, I have three and a half ounces of a dark chocolate, not a semi-sweet, more a higher cacao content, probably 60%. And to that, I'm going to add five tablespoons of butter out of there, and I'm going to melt it over a, a pot of simmering water. Uh, I want it nice and smooth before I add the rest of the ingredients. The rest of the ingredients are a third of a cup of sugar, two whole eggs, quarter cup of cornstarch and a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to mix all these together, make the brownie base, pour it in the pan, and then we're going to bake it in the oven for at 350 for about oh, 10, 12, 13 minutes. It's not going to be very thick. It's going to it's only a base, so it's going to cook pretty fast. And then we're going to cool that and then we're going to make to put on top of that the first one will be a white chocolate mousse. We'll let that set a little bit. Then we'll pour on a pistachio mousse, and I'm gonna show you some ingredient that maybe you're not familiar with, but it's a really great ingredient, but we'll get to that later. And then we're gonna to top it off with some nice decorations that are gonna put the wow factor on this dessert. So for now, I'm just gonna start by melting the chocolate and the butter. All right, our chocolate and our butter's melted, so I'm gonna take it off the heat. Just make sure there's no lumps in there, nice and smooth. I'm gonna add the sugar. Mix that up, and I'll add the salt too. This dessert is really good. We got some warm weather coming up, so it's, it's a good warm weather dessert. And you can serve this dessert two ways. You can serve it because it's a mousse right out of the refrigerator and it'll be a cold dessert with a mousse-like texture or, as I like to eat it, right out of the freezer so it's like ice cream. But it's up to you. You can serve it both ways. And you can actually freeze this dessert for, oh, a um, couple of weeks, tightly wrapped without the decorations on top. Just wrap the whole cake thing in the freezer eggs and then pull it out when you need it. In the refrigerator it'll keep approximately three days with the decorations on it and you know so you can have all the leftovers if there are any. Okay so just mix it up well is our batter. Now into the pan. Make sure it gets all the way around the edges. Tap it out. Now into that 350 oven, I'm going to start checking it at 8 minutes. It could take as long as 15 but I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Here's our brown base out of the oven. You can see it's nice and baked and it's very chocolatey. It smells delicious. Now this is a little domey. Um, so what I might do, it depends. I'm gonna let this cool completely and then I'll make that decision if I wanna shave some of it off the top. I would just remove the sides, shave it, and put the sides back on. That's not so bad because what I also want to do when this is cooled down and before I put any mousse in is I want to put some parchment a collar around the edge of this because when you take this out of the freezer later when it's set 
if you just release the pan, you're going to get that pulling away from the, the mousse, and it's going to have kind of a, it's not going to make the sides of the mousse look as pretty, but if you have a collar around it and you reduce the sides and then you just peel the collar off, it'll come off a lot neater. So we're going to put this aside, let it cool completely, and I'll be back when it's cool to show you how to make the first mousse. Here's our brownie base, all nice and cooled, and it has settled down quite a bit, so I'm not going to trim it. I don't think I need to. I think I'll have plenty of room in there for the, the two fillings. But what I do want to do before I move ahead is make a collar on this, and for that I'm going to use parchment paper. Now, I cut the parchment paper so that it would you know, be higher than the, the bowl, but if you can see, the one sheet doesn't cover it, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of a patch job here. So I think probably, let me start there. I'm terrible at guesstimating this stuff, but we'll see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to release the sides. Oh, I would need this on here, not paying attention, because I want a little bit of room to slide my parchment paper down into between the brownie and the walls of this container. And I need a smaller piece. And that'll about do it. Don't worry, it falls over. I'll put it behind here. Just make sure it's below. And now, lock it back in place. So now you have a secure collar around your pan so that if your mousse goes just a little bit above, it'll be contained. But more importantly, when you peel it off after this is all frozen, you should get a much cleaner edge. So I'm gonna put that aside for now. Get rid of these pieces. And now we're gonna work on the white chocolate mousse. So I have seven ounces of white chocolate. I've got two egg yolks, a quarter cup of sugar, and a quarter cup of heavy cream. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the cream and I'm going to pour it in this pot that's on simmer, and I'm gonna warm that up, not to boil, but just before it boils, comes to a simmer. So I'm gonna put this aside. In this bowl, I'm going to put my yolks. Come on, get all out of there. Okay, and the sugar. And while that's warming, I'm going to just mix these together. And I really want to whip these up well. And I've got the time while I'm waiting for the cream, so I'm just going to keep whisking until it gets a little bit lighter in color. All right, that cream has come to a simmer. So now I'm gonna temper it into the eggs a little bit at a time. If I were to pour it all in there at once, scramble eggs. So I just put a couple of drops in, a couple of more drops, a couple more. And I'm gonna pour the rest of it in because by now the eggs have come up to that temperature. And now I'm gonna put it back in the pan and back on the burner. And now I'm gonna just cook this on the burner until it gets a little bit thickened. This should only take a couple of minutes. What I'm looking for here is for this to thicken up enough so that when I go like that, almost there, see how it leaves a trail on the thing? I'll do that again in a moment. It's starting to get thicker. Again, it leaves a mark. This is almost ready to go.
turn that off. And now that's going over the chocolate. And I'm going to let that sit on the chocolate for about a minute or two. And then I'm going to start whisking it until my chocolate is completely melted. So I'll leave that on there. All right, I let this sit. And now I'm going to just whisk it until it's all combined. You leave it like that for about a minute or two and it will just soften up the chocolate enough that you can then go ahead and do this. Now, this isn't done. This is just the base of the white chocolate. Now we have to kind of fluff this up and make it into a mousse. So I've got my mixer bowl and my whisk, both of which have been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And I am going to put in one cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to let that beat until it becomes almost stiff peaks. So it's going to be a little loud, going to take a couple of minutes. All right, here we go. Nice and stiff. Get rid of that. And I'm going to take just a little bit of this because this, the mixture of the white chocolate is very heavy and this is very light. So I want it to stay light, but the only way I can do that is by making the white chocolate mixture a little bit looser. And that little bit of white chocolate, a uh, little bit of whipped cream in there will loosen up this part. I'm not being as careful about folding this in, but I will be about the rest of that. Now, if I haven't mentioned it before, Use a good quality white chocolate. Please do not use candy melts and don't use a generic brand of chocolate. Really use a good brand of chocolate. They do have them everywhere nowadays, so it should be easy enough to find. It just makes a world of difference in taste and in, in texture. There we go. Let's get our all of the whites out of there. And now we're just going to fold it. And then what we're going to do is after we fold this and it's all mixed in well, I'm going to put it as the first layer on top of that brownie. And then I'm going to take that whole pan and I'm going to put it in the freezer for about one hour. If you want to leave it in there longer, that's fine. If you're going to leave it in there for any length of time before you proceed with the recipe, cover it with plastic wrap or something and then leave it in the refrigerator so you don't get like a hard top. And this is about done. Okay. Something else I didn't mention about the brownie layer that you could do if, it, if it's up to you. It's a twist. So when you make the brownie layer before you pour it in, you could finally chop some pistachios and put those in the brownie mix. You're making a pistachio mousse, so it will just follow the theme. It's just something else. It could add a little crunch up to you. So now I'm going to put this in here. It's nice and light. It came out nice. Probably because it's not a wet day. If it was a wet day, the cream wouldn't whip as well. It's like meringue. It doesn't whip that well on a rainy day. And now, just spread it out as evenly as you can. And like I said, now I'm going to put this in the freezer for one hour. So I'm going to take a break and do some dishes, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the pistachio mousse, which has a little bit couple more twists, a little bit more complicated, but not all that bad. So see you in about an hour. The white chocolate mousse portion is in the freezer, so now let's proceed with the pistachio portion. I'm going to start off with one teaspoon of gelatin, uh, and then three teaspoons of cold water, 
And I'm just gonna mix that up until it's all blended. And I'm gonna put this aside to bloom, as they say, for about 10 minutes. It's going to get solid, so don't get upset. We'll show you how you soften it up later. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. And now I wanna talk about the ingredients for this next portion. I have five and a half ounces of white chocolate. I'm going to use two tablespoons of milk, two or three, two tablespoons of milk. I'm going to use some pistachio extract. If you don't have pistachio extract, you can use almond extract for this, it's fine. A little bit of green food coloring. You don't have to add green food coloring to this. The last time I made this, I didn't use the food coloring and it came out fine. It just was extremely pale green and I just wanted a little bit more contrast. So we'll need a little bit of that this time. And now I want to talk about the star ingredient and that is pistachio paste. Pistachio paste, this is homemade. I made this one myself. You can buy it, but this is made from grinding up in my food processor pistachios, some sugar syrup, and to loosen it because you really have to leave this on a food processor for eight to 10 minutes. That's a long time because it really won't turn into a paste unless you really, really grind it that long. Towards, after you've done it for maybe four or five minutes, you can add a little bit of either canola oil or some other type of oil, I'm talking tablespoon or less, um, of uh, some type of oil that doesn't have a flavor. You don't want to use olive oil or a walnut oil or something like that. And you just want it to come to a consistency that's a paste. Now, if you don't want to go to that trouble, that's fine, you can buy it. This can is 11 ounces. It cost $15. That's a lot of money. But if you're going to use it for a lot of things, maybe it's okay. You can use, because in this recipe, this is 2.2 ounces. This is 11 ounces. So you only need a small portion of this for this recipe. What can you do with this otherwise? You can use this in cakes. You can use this in cookies. If you make your own homemade ice cream, this is what you want to use to make pistachio ice cream some of this in your base. And it's similar to the base that I'm gonna be putting together today. Or some people I know, I haven't tried it, spread it on toast and eat it that way. It's a nut butter, so up to you. If you don't wanna use it, then you probably don't wanna use this recipe. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I've got a pan of warm water that's simmering. I'm gonna take this white chocolate to the white chocolate, I'm going to add the two tablespoons of milk. And I'm going to add the pistachio paste. It really has to be a paste-like mixture. If you start making this on your food processor and it's just powdered, it means you need to add some type of liquid. But don't add it too early. Give it a chance to try to turn into a paste. Like I said, a few minutes. You can watch, there's a lot of videos online that you can watch and see how this paste is made. It's a lot less expensive too. All right, now I'm gonna put this on my heat and I am going to wait until all of this melts. I will have a recipe that I used for this pistachio paste on our website that you can uh, attach to this recipe so that you can see how I made it. Now. I just have to wait until this pistachio, oh, I know I'm gonna add this later, I think. I'll add the extract and the coloring after this is melted. So now we just have to wait until this melts. All right, whew, that's hot almost completely melted. I can still see a couple of little pieces of white chocolate in there. So I'm just going to give it a good mix. Melt those down so they're nice and smooth. Okay. And at this time, I'm going to add a little of the food color. It is green. As you can see, there is green. But once I add the white, all the um, whipped cream to this, it's gonna really get to be pale green. So I'm gonna just add a little bit. 
First of all, here's the pistachio extract. Two drops, that's all, just a little bit. And now the green food color. A little bit. And now whisk it up. Okay. It's a lot greener now. But like I said, you want to see that contrast because otherwise they kind of just blend into each other. Okay, so I'm going to put this into a bigger bowl because what I whip the cream, I need a lot of room to fold and I can't do it in this tiny little bowl. So I'm going to just move this into here. And now I need to add the gelatin to this. And the gelatin, as I told you, is going to be hard. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for like five or six seconds, just to loosen it up. Okay, that was like about eight seconds, which is okay. And again, into there. And that's gonna help make the mousse hold together. Come on, get off here. And now I'm going to set this aside and get my bowl out of the refrigerator. I'm refrigerating the mixer bowl and the whisk attachment to the, whisk, to the mixer bowl, as well as the cream, because they will whip faster. And then I'll fold them in and we'll put it on top of our other layer. And then we have to wait. So put this aside. Let me get my cream and I'll be right back. All right, here's our pistachio mixture. Here is our white chocolate mousse out of the freezer. And here's one cup of heavy whipping cream that I'm going to beat to almost stiff peaks or stiff peaks just to lighten this up. So here we go, some noise. There's our whipped cream. Now, just like the other one, this is a heavy mixture. This is a light mixture. So we want to just put in a little bit to loosen this one up. the rest of the cream. This is a really good dessert for the summer. I mean, you can make this the day before you're going to have company. As I said, it keeps very well in the freezer. Refrigerator up to three days if you want a soft mousse as opposed to an ice cream like. I prefer the ice cream like, but Either one is really good. And then when you're ready to serve it, you just, if you want, if you kept it in the freezer and you want to serve it like a mousse rather than an ice cream, then take it out of the freezer a half an hour before you want to serve it and leave it in the refrigerator and it will soften up. Yes, looks so pretty. Almost all completely. Yep, there we go. So time to put it in our pan. This is a very heavy bowl. You can see it's not as dark green as when I first put the food coloring in because the 
cream just kind of takes it away. So it's not really green green. It's just a nice pleasant green. Now, some people might say, oh my goodness, is that lime? Surprise. Another thing you could have done to twist this up a little bit is if you wanted to, before you poured it in here, you could have put some chopped pistachios in here and it would, the crunch would be in the ice cream or the mousse. Um, or like I'm going to do when I'm finished, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the, the nice decoration we're gonna make to put on top of this and then we'll sprinkle on some pistachios, whole and chopped to make it look pretty. I'm just trying to even out the top here as much as I can so it looks pretty. Although it doesn't matter that much because once you put the decorations on, you won't even notice that. Okay, now, three to four hours in the freezer before you can serve it or do anything else to it. So again, I'm going to do some dishes and this is going in the freezer. I am going to show you in a couple of minutes how to make the decorations for the top and then after three or four hours, I'll show you how to finish this off. Now let me show you a very simple but a very dramatic kind of decoration for this cake. I got some three ounces, hold on, of white chocolate that I've melted over here. Just kind of wipe the bowl clean. Oops. Anyways, three ounces of white chocolate and I have some pistachios, some whole pistachios. And I'm going to pour this onto a silpat. Whoa, that's hot. If you don't have a silpat, you can use um, a lightly oiled, um, lightly greased, lightly buttered, whatever, piece of foil. Okay, and all I'm going to do here is make some pistachio bark. So just you want to make more of this as long as you're making it it's really good snack <laughs> for later on for yourself so just on there and then some pistachios how many pistachios up to you it's your bark and then we're just going to let this sit off to the side and let it set just want a few more Put them in strategic places. Make sure every piece is going to have a bunch. All we're going to do with this later is just break it up and, and use it. You'll see what I mean. Just tap these in. Put those aside. And I'm just going to let that sit and harden because our we have three hours for our mousse to come out of the freezer. And then we'll decorate. Well, <clears throat> we're ready to put our cake together, our cake, whatever you want to call it, dessert. And I've got my pistachio and white chocolate bark here. Now, if this breaks, don't worry about it because that's what you're going to do. You're going to break it. So I'm just going to pick it up. I'm going to break it into hunks. Whatever kind you want, whatever size you want, you'll see what we're going to do with them. When we're done, it's rather thin. You can make it a little bit thicker if you want. I like it thin. But that's just me. Here we go. And all right, that's good enough for now. Put that right there. Oops. And here's our mousse. You're not gonna believe what just happened. I just broke the lock on here and now it's unlockable. But you know what, since I had the collar, I'm gonna miss this pan. I hope that's not an omen. I'm 
get this off of the pan underneath. My paper is still on there, but I can get that off later. So here is our mousse cake. And now to decorate, we're just going to start putting them here and there. This is where the little, the artist in you comes out. The lights in here are so warm that it's actually melting the chocolate, but that's okay. Now you could put some along the side if you wanted to like that, but I think it hides the, the mousse a bit. And then anything you have left over from munchies, those will be really good. Whoops. Now, if you wanted to, and I didn't keep any out, but if you wanted to, you could have sprinkled this with more pistachios. So there you go. Here's a really cool festive dessert that someone's gonna say wow about. Mm -hmm.